Hello and welcome to this video abstract. I'm John Sayer from Newcastle University and I'd like to present this paper recently published in Brain Communications entitled Identification of LAMA1 Mutations Ends Diagnostic Odyssey and Has Prognostic Implications for Patients with Presumed Joubert Syndrome. Patient of a three-year-old girl who had ataxia, oculomotor apraxia and abnormal brain imaging. She was given a clinical diagnosis of Joubert syndrome. However, genetic testing revealed no mutations in the known Joubert syndrome genes. We reviewed the brain MRI imaging, and this included cerebellar cysts shown here on the MRI scan. And we proceeded to look for mutations in LAMA1 and identified biallelic changes, meaning that new diagnosis was pareti balzhauser syndrome. Now, this figure compares Joubert syndrome on the left with pareti balzhauser syndrome on the right. In the upper part, referring to early childhood, you'll see that there is a clinical overlap. Both have in common hypotonia, developmental delay, ocular motor impraxia, intellectual disability of varying degree. In the middle, this refers to neuroimaging. The neuroimaging hallmark of Joubert syndrome, the molar 2 sign. For the Boltzhausen syndrome, imaging completely different with very abnormal cerebellar anatomy, with a varying number of cerebellar cysts, also of various size, mainly in the subcortical area in the periphery of the cerebellum. When we now refer to later childhood, there is still an overlap regarding retinal involvement, but pareti boltzhauser syndrome has a high prevalence of high myopia, but no other involvement of other organs. Comparing the molecular genetics of Joubert syndrome with pareti boltzhauser syndrome, there is a vast difference. Whilst for pareti boltzhauser syndrome, mutations in a single gene, LAMA1, are causative, LAMA1 encodes for a basement membrane protein called laminin subunit alpha-1, whereas for Joubert syndrome, there are 38 known genetic causes of Joubert. All of these genes encode for genes where the protein product is associated with the primary cilium. Therefore, it is important that the LAMA1 gene is added to ciliopathy screening panels, despite it not being a ciliopathy gene, in order to properly diagnose and distinguish patients. As we have seen, it can be tricky to clinically distinguish pareti boltzhauser syndrome from Joubert syndrome. For this reason, we used genetics data in order to get an, an estimate of the prevalence of these two syndromes in UK patient cohorts. Among the 8,459 probands recruited with either intellectual disability and or developmental delay in the Genomics England 100,000 Genomes project, two individuals carried biallelic pathogenic variants in LAMA1 causing pareti boltzhauser syndrome. Similarly, among the 13,451 individuals recruited with developmental delay inside the Deschiffering Developmental Disorders study, three cases were solved for LAMA1. In contrast, 18 cases were solved um, for Joubert syndrome-related genes in Genomics England, and 26 cases were solved for Joubert syndrome-related genes in the DDD study. I asked the mom of the index case to kindly describe her feelings about being told that she had a different diagnosis to Joubert syndrome. It was a massive, huge shock to us as a family um, because there's so many new obstacles to look at, new things to kind of research and it's such a rare condition and not many, well, no professionals we've met apart from um, Dr. Sierra have known about it. Um, so <laughs> we've got a massive journey ahead of work, but um, we'll get there. It's been a massive change um, to think that we've lived with thinking Addison had due birth for two years now to know she doesn't was a was a relief in some ways, but in other ways it's now now new obstacles and being on the ball with everything and seeing what's happening. But we'll get there. 
I'd like to conclude this presentation by thanking everyone involved, including the family members and patients involved in this study. Also our funders, which include the MRC, the Swiss National Science Foundation, the Northern Counties Kidney Research Fund, Kidney Research UK, 